took a trip here um, and with the camera. And um, as you can see, um, there is a stack um, with some black smoke coming out of it on a Saturday, a couple Saturdays ago. Um, and it's just over the hill from the uh, health department and the daycare center, BHK. So um, as you can see, there's a lot of proximity here. And what happens is the black smoke comes out like every now and then in a puff. Those of you who live in Lots must be used to that. I was just visiting it and that sort of thing. So that's maybe what you see mm -hmm. ongoing. Oh, okay. I just saw somebody go like that with their nose. Um, and so to me, to me, if I remember anything from that one Saturday, I remember a lot of things that were really hitting me hard, but it's this picture. Um, when we think of little kids growing up, maybe, um, and having to breathe what comes out of that pipe. Uh, and then not only there, but other places where we keep thinking that maybe biomass is the way to go and we're actually promoting it as green. Um, that, that's pretty hard hitting, I think. And uh, Catherine, you have some details about what that does, right? Okay, and here we go to answer your question. Wood smoke contains over 200 chemicals and compound groups. Wood smoke is the third largest source of dioxin. Um, dioxin is one of the most deadly compounds known to us. The only thing worse is um, um, radioactive material. Um, Wood smoke contains particulate matter, carbon monoxide, formaldehyde, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. And, and a lot of these are on that list. So um, exposure to wood smoke, and I think this is what a lot of people are really concerned about, um, interferes with lung development in children and increases a child's risk for lower respiratory infections like bronchitis and pneumonia. It can also depress the immune system and damage the pulmonary epithelium and increase arterial stiffness. Um, the polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons cause DNA damage to both mothers and babies. Fetuses are 10 times more vulnerable to PAH damage as adults. Um, so this is what the main concern has been from people in the Lons community, is the close proximity of this plant to um, an elementary school, a preschool, and the health department. 